Hello friends, in this video I will explain program for BCD addition of two numbers for 8051 microcontroller. And here is the problem. Write an assembly language program to add two BCD numbers 50 and 60. Store the result in internal memory location 30H for 8051 microcontroller. Here we have to add 50 and 60. These are the two BCD numbers. But when we want to write the program for 8051 microcontroller in assembly language program, the numbers which enters are automatically considered as hexadecimal numbers and therefore this 50 and 60 will be nothing but the 50H and 60H and therefore whichever the result will also be generated it is also considered in hexadecimal and therefore we have to convert the result into a BCD number. So let us see what to do for this program. So here we have to add 50 and 60 independently these numbers are copied first into accumulator. Therefore, I am using move instruction move a comma. Now, I have to add the first number. Therefore, I will write here a comma hash 58 that is immediate addressing mode. You can write e h here or not, but uh, here uh, by default uh, the number entered in ALP is uh, considered as 50 h. Now, the next number that uh, is added is nothing but the second number sorry uh, we do not have to write more instruction we have to write uh, directly the add instruction because I am adding here I am adding this 50h with 60h so I will use instruction add a comma hash 60h so automatically this 50 and 60 will be added this instruction actually means a comma hash 50h means a is loaded with 50h then add a comma 60h means accumulators content that is 50h is added with 60h and the result is stored into accumulator whatever be the result will be automatically stored into accumulator now we know that the result in accumulator but the result is in hexadecimal and therefore we have to convert this into the bcd and the instruction which will convert the number into bcd is nothing but a daa that is decimal adjust accumulator instruction and this instruction must be used after addition instruction and therefore i am using here daa instruction which will convert the result into BCD automatically. Okay. Now, store the result in internal memory location 30H. We have to store the result to memory location 30H. And therefore, again, to store that result into 30H, here our source is accumulator because the result is in accumulator. DAE will convert the content of accumulators into BCD result. Okay, so, we are having BCD number into accumulator and we have to copy this into 30H memory location and therefore, this instruction should be used. And at the end of uh, the program, we can write stop that is by using uh, any instruction just like stop AJMP or you can use SJMP also, even LJMP also, yes, uh, AJMP stop. So, it will stop the program execution. Now, our next program for the BCD addition is this one. Two numbers are given that are stored into 3000H and 3001H. Note here that these are the two external memory location which are given here and we have to store the result in memory location 3002H. As the external memory locations are given, we First, we have to use the memory pointer here and therefore, the memory pointer is initialized by using dptr here and let move dptr comma hash 
3000 edge that is the initial address for this memory location okay so what i am doing i am loading dptr with 3000 edge now indirect addressing mode is to be used and therefore i will use move x instruction here move x a comma at the rate dptr now what is the meaning of this instruction it simply means the content of dptr is to be moved to the accumulator now dptr is actually indicating the address of 3000 edge and therefore indirectly it is saying that the content of this 3000 edge should be copied into accumulator and therefore i am writing here just like this 3000 edge the content of 3000 edge to be moved into accumulator indirectly that is the first number is already copied into accumulator now to get the second number actually again we have to use dptr and further if uh, we want to move uh, this uh, dptr's content into accumulator the first number will be overwritten and therefore we have to save it somewhere else and they in this case i am using some memory location i can use any memory location here let it be 30h again 30h comma a okay now the content of accumulator that is the first number itself is copied into a memory location 30h that is the internal memory location 30h okay now to get the second number here i have to load dptr with 3000h now i am having this first option that is move dptr hash 3001h or i can use simple instruction that is increase dptr that is inc dptr it will save the memory because the first instruction move dptr comma hash 3001h will require 3 byte of memory where as uh, inc dptr will require only one byte of memory now automatically dptr is loaded with okay dptr is loaded with 3001h now as it is indicating 3001h we will take this content into the accumulator and therefore again move x this is the instruction move x a comma at the rate dptr this is the second instruction to get the second number now the content of 3001h is indirectly actually copied into accumulator okay now we are having first number at 30 okay so this is our first number which is already stored in 30h and this is second number okay this is stored in accumulator and therefore here i can use add instruction that is add okay i can use add c instruction also but uh, let it be uh, considering that uh, the carry is not generated so add a comma 30h so the content of accumulator and memory location 30h that is the first number and second number is added and the result is stored into accumulator also note that the result whichever be there it will be automatically in hexadecimal and therefore this number is to be converted into the bcd number by using this daa instruction because we have to add these two bcd numbers okay so i will use da instruction that is that is decimal address accumulator now the result is stored into okay so bcd result i can say say bcd result is in accumulator okay is in accumulator and we have to copy this uh, uh, result into 3002 memory location and therefore i will use here inc dptr instruction again inc dptr okay so here dptr will be equal to 3002h because previously it was indicating 3001h now it is indicating 3002h memory location now this content of 3000 sorry the content of this accumulator is to be moved to 3002h and therefore exactly opposite instruction i will use here to that of uh, move x a comma at the rate dptr that is nothing but move x 
here here I will use add the rate dptr first comma a okay now the result will be is in actually is in accumulator and it is moved to 3000 to h indirectly okay and last instruction is nothing but stop that is stop s sjmp stop okay so in this way we have performed two bcd additions here